your focus on people rather than money, rather than companies. Um, you know, money is an abstract concept. Okay, you have notes, but money, you know, the, the, I promise to pay the, ba- the bearer of this piece. Money is abstract. Companies are abstract. Countries are abstract. Law and government governance and the ideas behind uh, companies are abstract. And people, okay, buildings and computers, they're physically real, but but people are the people are people are what's real and and your emphasis on putting uh on putting energy and finding out what those real um the only real part of a company um uh thinks and feels and and, and wants and fears and the rest of it um uh that and your phrase the weird wobbly soups that are businesses i think it's a a, a, a wonderful phrase so i'm just p- kind of picking up on a number there may be nothing there that you want to respond to but um... no well i th- you are you're absolutely right and some of the most important things in our life you know like love and friendships and businesses and uh, money all of these things that we hold and you know nations um, all these things that we hold really dear to us and get very passionate about don't even exist. Don't exist in the real. It, it really exists. And um, so, you know, if you if you want an example of how powerful these kind of like passions and purposes can be, um, you don't need to look uh, too much too much further. Um, I gave a talk once to a, to um, it was mainly to a bunch of kids, but all their parents were there as well, and. Um, Everyone in the room was very shocked when I told them that Manchester United didn't really exist. Um, and neither does the game of football in the real sense. It's all just kind of like made up. It's about storytelling and um, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and if you tie that back into business, we, all, we, th- we think, you know, the brand of the business is so important and, you know, it's kind of somehow defines personality of that organization and what it stands for and what it means and etc cetera, etc cetera. but of course we forget that actually without the people creating the brand and living the brand day to day it's it's nothing it's meaningless um so it, it yeah absolutely everything comes back to to people so, so some some might wish i mean you know uh, some might wish that man united didn't exist including perhaps at the at t- at time of recording its manager eric ten Hag. to find out what kind of data storyteller you are why not take our data storytelling scorecard it takes just two minutes to complete and we'll give you a personalized report right away visit data-storytelling.scoreapp.com or follow the link in the show notes